Tabletop Spotlight, brought to you by Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. Hey everyone, I'm Adam Harry from Bell Blast Souls Tabletop News with Evan from Dragon's Lair Comics Fantasy. And we're back with another Tabletop Spotlight. And this time, it's all about the Chaos Demons Chaos from 40K. Chaos Demons, yeah. I have, I have, know a lot of people who are very excited about this. They should be. Um, I'm even excited. I don't play any demons, and I'm excited about yeah. it. So It's good stuff. Uh, we've been playing around with it all week here yeah. at the Bulls head headquarters. Um, and uh, we're excited to finally get to show it off on the uh, Tabletop Spotlight. So, uh, oh, and you also brought the deck, which is going to yeah. be very handy. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Cool. Well, let's hop in and take a look inside the new Chaos Demons Codex. And then the Chaos Demon Codex is here. we got yes. the data cards. Where do you want to start, man? Uh, obviously, we should do the data cards last so we can see the stratagems and then see this. I like the way you think. Okay. All right. So real quick, we'll flip through this book pretty quickly. We're yeah. not going to show everything off. Um, it's Obviously, it's going to be packed full of awesome artwork. Uh, built like other codexes. Built like other codexes. Real fast, just a table of contents. I should show that off, huh? Uh, <laughs> we've got all of the good stuff about all the different cast demons, all of the different units, all the background. You get like a page blurb on each one, just yeah. like we've come to expect. You get the paint section that's going to show off all the models painted. Then we're going to get into the rules, obviously, for all of the different Chaos Demon units once again. And then we're going to get into their special rules and, and whatnot. Right. Things like that. So it's the same exact setup that we've come to expect from GW. Uh, they have a formula. It's working. Look at this artwork. And back to the beautiful artwork. <laughs> These guys are screwed. <laughs> no, they're fine. They're fine. <laughs> they're surrounded by all four. You know, <laughs> It's going to be bad times. Uh, this book does have a bunch of the background lore and uh, kind of the, the, the history of the demons, but also like for a breakdown for each... Exactly, for each of the uh, four chaos gods, um, it does tease a little bit more on the the lore front as well. If you remember where we left off with the gathering storm, oh yeah, the big chaos rift opened up. There's some stuff going on. <laughs> there's that chaos rift that opened up. There's there's a lot of things going on in the background. That's a yeah that's a covered map. <laughs> we don't have time to get into with this video, but there is a timeline breakdown. Uh, that kind of goes over in way more detail than right. we're going to spend here. But again, packed full of awesome art for all four of the Chaos Gods. They're all represented, which is pretty sweet. Um, and then we get to the unit section. Again, this is going to go through, uh, just an example, here's a Blood Throne. You're going to get your breakdown of the unit, what it does, uh, just lore-wise, where, where it comes from. Um, and then you get like a cool Yeah, art these aren't the rules. These are just Yeah, the these story. are just yeah. those. Exactly. Flipping around here. Good and again, job. it does it for every single uh, Chaos model. So we've got Korn, we've got Nurgle, we've got Zinch, we've got Slanesh models. We're going to get into the paint section. Again, moving pretty quick. There are a couple of new models, new released models. Uh, you do get uh, Horticulus Slemix, who was originally from uh, Age of Sigmar, but now yeah. he's available in 40k. We do get the new Great Unclean One kit, which is pretty awesome. Uh, we get a couple of new Nurgle Heralds, um, things like that in this book. Yeah. Um, Oh, both fighters are just cool. Yeah, jeez. Uh, <laughs> uh, skipping around some more. Next, the next section we're going to get into is the the actual rules. Um, we we've seen these rules before, or this, these sections before. Yeah. You're gonna get your breakdown. You know, power level points. Uh, their whole all the rules, all that fun stuff. I wanted to show off. Uh, for example, there's the new Bloodmaster. It's not really a new model. This is basically the Herald. So if you remember from the previous index, you had the Herald of Corn. Yeah. That's what the Blood Master okay, is. Okay, that now. makes sense. Yeah. Um, all of the Heralds, except for I think the Slanesh Heralds, didn't get renamed, but <laughs> everybody else got renamed. Uh, so the the Herald of Zinch is now like a Change Caster, Fate Fate uh, Fate Skimmer. So they just got new names. The the Flux Master. That was the Herald on a Disc of Zinch. You know, Chariot of Zinch. Basically the same model, um, nothing changed that for the model, just new name, maybe some new rules. If those are, if, if you've played them before, definitely go back and check those out. We do have the new Demon Rodigus, who's the, the character greater and clean one. Yep. Uh, who's has like Rodigus three is, mouths. Yeah, he's pretty <laughs> nasty looking, uh, pretty gnarly, the greater and clean one. Uh, there's also the new Fortification, Ooh. which is a the Feculent Gnarl Mall, Gnarl Malls. Uh, this is a new fortification, it's a new unit. Um, do note that it does have the keywords uh, Chaos, Nurgle, and Demon. Uh, that's going to be important later when we get into the demonic powers. Right. Um, everybody's got their own uh, special demonic loci. If you take a battle-forged army, uh, so 
uh, you get access, all of your demonic characters get access to their specific loci. So if you take Demons of Corn, uh, you build a Battle Forge army that has a detachment that is Corn, you get access to the Locus of Rage, which will allow you to reroll uh, charge rolls when you're within six inches of one of the characters that have it. Right. And okay. they all have that. So that's one of the, that's the cool, it's like the cool demon trick. Yeah. Um, moving forward to the stratagems. <laughs> oh man. They're pretty interesting. I like how they're color coordinated as well. That's nice. Yeah, yeah. I believe there was 19 total stratagems. Let me count real quick. We've got five, 10, 15, and four. So it's 19. Yeah. So there are 19 stratagems here. Uh, they are color coordinated, so you've got three corn specific, three Nurgle specific, three Zinch specific, and three Slinish specific, and then, and then you've got seven that are kind of free floating. Yeah. Um, this is where this kind of free floating uh, uh, fun stuff comes in with the, the Chaos Demons. Uh, Denizens of the Warp is probably going to be one of the most popular stratagems out of this book. Mm -hmm. What that does is it basically allows you to set up a unit in Deep Strike and bring it in later. Ooh, wow. Um, and you pay based on the, the the power level of the unit. So if it's under eight point, if it's eight and under, you only pay one power point, uh, one one command point to do it. Or if it's over, if it's nine or more, you spend two command points. So that doesn't sound like it's not too bad, <laughs> right? Uh, but uh, man, it also applies to anything with the demon keyword. Oh wow! So there's a lot you can do with. There's that. a lot. Yeah. Uh, it's not just demons in this book. Anything with the demon keyword. Uh, so you can deep strike. As far as we can tell, we've we've been checking this out all week. Uh, as far as you can tell, we you can deep strike those uh, feculent gnarl malls, in right? As well. <laughs> yeah, which is just a funny funny thing to think about. But it's it's that ever encroaching darkness uh, of, <laughs> of of the world. So, um, but there's a, there's a ton of other cool ones here too. Um, the banner of blood is going to be a very popular one for corn guys. Uh, that will give you a three six charge option for a turn. Oh, which is kind of cool. Um, once per battle, they get a three to six charge. Um, who else had a couple of cool ones? All the Nurgle stuff is good. All the Zine stuff is good. The Slanesh stuff has also got some some dirty tricks it's too. It's all good. <laughs> uh, it's it is surprisingly well rounded. I think that's what's cool about this book is each one of the demon uh, units got a re some really cool stuff in, regarding the stratagems. Um, Warlord traits. Yes. Every single. Chaos God has Warlord traits. We're not gonna go through all of them, but you can see here you have a full chart. There's six options for each. You can go nuts with this chart. Oh yeah, for sure. So yeah, we're gonna keep moving here. You guys can take a look at that uh, if you'd like. Um, Hellforge artifacts. There's another three artifacts, I think, per Chaos God. Some of my favorites include the uh, King of Blades, which uh, lets you reroll failed wound rolls for this weapon when targeting a character. If it's wielded by a monster, this, the damage is just straight three damage instead of D3 damage. Mm -hmm. um, Soul Bane was a really good one. That was for a Zinch Herald. Uh, invulnerable saves cannot be taken against this weapon, and it has a minus five AP already. Ooh. Now, it's only one damage, and it has to go on a Herald, so it's not like, oh, no, but like... But it's going to go through. Yeah, it's, yeah. If, if he gets to stabbing you, it's going to hurt, <laughs> which is kind of cool. Uh, the Impossible Robe, robe is cool, too. Um, just a ton of cool stuff. I also like uh, the Slothful Claws for... Um, Slanesh, uh, it's rending on a four plus instead of a, a six up, oh, so you get a minus yeah. four AP, um, and uh, yeah, it's just it's just good all around. Sure. Uh, it's got plus one strength, uh, minus two AP base, and two damage, so that goes from a minus two to a minus four on a four up, which is pretty good for Slanesh. You get a lot of swings. Yeah. Uh, points are obviously going to be in the book too, and then tactical objectives as well. So cool. yeah, yeah. Oh, there is one more secret. Uh, Dark Hereticus Discipline here, which uh, that's for if you take Bellacor, you get access to those three powers too. So. Oh, very cool. And then the Chaos Spawn stuff. So that's pretty much everything in the Chaos Demons Codex. Let's look through the uh, data card real fast. Yeah. So we've got a lot of it because it's all four yeah. factions. It's a ton so. of stuff in here. That's a lot of cards. Uh, you're going to have all of the psychic powers. So kind of went through all of them already, or yeah. showed them off. Again, 18 psychic powers to choose from. Wow. Yeah. It's color coordinated too, yeah. again, which is nice. We got all the stratagems, which are also color coordinated. Um, very handy. If you're building just a corn army, uh, you can just take the corn stratagem and the generic stratagem and put those to the side. It also has your locus, which is nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, they all have an extra locus, but yeah. Um, tactical objectives. 
that whole deck that you'll need as well, which yeah. is super handy. Right. Um, yeah, that's all in there too. So, well, and all your doing stuff. These are just helpful all yeah. around. Yeah. Totally worth uh, picking these cards up. I mean, yeah, you could totally make your own cards, but come on. But Fifteen dollars is not it's a lot. It's gonna save you a lot of time. Time. Yeah, that's the factor. Yeah. <laughs> and and these are these are you know their rules. They're correct with the rules, so right. there's nobody's gonna question you on them. Yeah. Um, you can show them the card instead of whipping the book out too. So. Yep. Yeah, good stuff all around. Why don't we uh, hop out for a recap? Let's do it. Well, that was the Chaos Demons Codex. Good stuff all around. Yep. I think it's gonna be a great book to pick up if you play a Chaos in general, just to be able to put demons in there. And then eventually, if you want, you just roll right into having a full-on demon army. Yeah, for sure. Um, so Death Guard can even take it. Yeah. And, oh and yeah. Add in some demons to their army. So. If you play Death Guard, if you play just Chaos Space Marines, sure. Um, yeah. Any of the offshoots, anything like that. If you have one of those armies and you're looking for some some ally to use, this is the book to go with. Yeah. Uh, lots of good options in there, as you saw. So uh, let's crunch the numbers on this one real quick. Okay. Obviously, this is these are both from Games Workshop. Yep. Um, Chaos Demons for Warhammer 40k. What's the price point on this one? Forty dollars. Forty bucks. Fifteen dollars. Fifteen bucks. Yeah. I think the uh, the data cards are also going to be. 15 they're also. Bucks most, most yeah, most yeah. They're all fifteen dollars, but they're all so helpful. Yeah. Um, I mean, you guys saw there's there's three sets of psychic powers. Yeah. Obviously, no corn psychic power, but three sets of those. Each one of those six powers. All the different stratagems you're going to want. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just. It's nice to have the decks to have those cards for quick reference. Yeah. Um, it's kind of awkward to have the book out the whole time. So. Definitely. Uh, but those come in super handy. Uh, so they're both out right now. Go check them out. I'm Adam Harry from Bulls. I'm Evan from Dragons that are Comics of Fantasy. And this has been another Tabletop Spotlight. Thank you for watching. Tabletop Spotlight brought to you by Dragons Lair Comics and Fantasy. Thanks for watching. <laughs>